a new, larger variant of the A350, often referred to as the A350-2000 or A350 Stretch, sometimes referred to as the Dash 8000 or Dash 1100, could play a key part in Airbus's strategy to compete with Boeing's latest flagship, the 7779, as the company is presently evaluating the future of its commercial aviation division. Depending on the variant, the A350-900 and A350-1000 offer accommodation for 300 to 410 passengers and ranges of up to 8,900 nautical miles, which is already recognized for the A350 family's advanced design. Currently, the A350-1000 is the largest member of the family, boasting a wingspan of 64.75 meters, a fuselage measuring 73.78 meters, and a maximum takeoff weight, MTOW, of up 322 tons. Its design is characterized by the use of composite materials to optimize efficiency, sophisticated aerodynamics, and the robust Rolls-Royce Trent XWB97 engines, which are capable of producing up to 97,000 pounds of thrust. Guillaume Forey, the CEO of Airbus, has emphasized the potential of a stretched A350 as a natural progression of the successful A350 program. The concept is to provide an aircraft with an even greater capacity than the current A350-1000, thereby appealing to airlines seeking high-density, long-range solutions for congested markets and directly countering the Boeing 7779. The A350-2000, as currently imagined, would extend the fuselage of the A350-1000 by several meters, potentially accommodating up to 450 passengers in a typical configuration and bridging the capacity disparity with the 7779, which is designed to seat approximately 426 passengers in two classes. The Boeing 7779, the largest member of the new 777X family, is engineered to accommodate approximately 426 passengers and boasts a range of 7,295 nautical miles. Aiming to achieve the lowest operational cost per seat in its category, it is equipped with a new composite wing and advanced GE9X engines. Although the 777 has not yet been validated, it is considered a direct competitor to the A350-1000, which has already been certified and has a market presence. Airbus's competitive advantage is its capacity to monitor the market's reaction to the 777 and to devise alternative strategies for retaining existing customers and attracting new ones. The Dash 2000, a further extension of the Dash 1000, would offer more passenger space and range. The idea could be particularly appealing as airlines retire older four-engine behemoths such as the A380 and seek replacements that do not compromise on capacity. The A350's design enables substantial flexibility as it boasts a cabin width of 5.96 meters, the same type classification, and 95% part commonality between the Dash 900 and Dash 1000 variants. Consequently, it provides a higher level of comfort than its direct competitors. Technically, the Dash 2000 would likely necessitate a slight increase in MTU, which would be in addition to the recent upgrades to 319 tons of the A350-1000. Additionally, the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB97 engines, which are already among the most potent in commercial service, may require a thrust boost. The A350's composite wing, which is already optimized for efficiency and features sophisticated aerodynamics and adaptive high-lift devices, is capable of accommodating the additional stretch. The Dash 1000's robust structure, main landing gear, and six-wheel bogey establish a strong foundation for future expansion. However, Airbus has not provided specific details or timelines for the Dash 2000, emphasizing that the concept remains under study. The company is aware of the potential risks associated with cannibalizing its own Dash 1000 sales and the difficulties associated with further compounding its production lines, particularly in light of the ongoing supply chain issues. There are also concerns regarding the limited demand for very large twin jets, as only a small number of airlines operate on routes that necessitate such high capacity.
The A350-2000 has been the subject of internal discussion at Airbus for more than a decade, occasionally referred to as the A350 stretch. The project has not been introduced, although there is a clear market interest. This is partially due to concerns about overlapping with the existing Dash 1000 and the necessity of a substantial investment in new wings, engines, and other systems to truly surpass the 779. The market for extremely large twin jets is extremely niche, with only a handful of airlines expressing interest in these high capacity, long range models. Airbus's cautious approach has been influenced by this. At present, Airbus is emphasizing the introduction of the A350-1000 ULR, an ultra-long-range aircraft, and a freighter variant of the A350. These aircraft are designed to compete with Boeing in specified market segments. For instance, the A350-900 ULR is capable of flying 9,700 nautical miles nonstop, which is the longest range of any commercial airliner currently in service. The A350F introduces a new level of efficiency and flexibility to the large freighter market as it complies with the most recent ICKO requirements and can carry a payload of up to 111 tons. The company is also making investments in passenger comfort, including the latest in-flight entertainment, a 221-inch wide cabin, complete LED ambient lighting, and full connectivity options for all passengers. The 2000 concept is motivated by Airbus's aspiration to establish a firm presence in the high-capacity, long-range market segment and to reduce the gap with Boeing's 777X family. Nevertheless, the project's success is contingent upon Airbus's ability to maintain a balanced product lineup without compromising its existing effective models as well as market demand and technical feasibility. The Dash 2000 has the potential to be a formidable competitor to the 779 if it is deployed. However, it is currently a mere possibility rather than a foregone conclusion. To sum up, the A350-2000 has the potential to be Airbus's response to the Boeing 779. However, there are substantial obstacles that must be overcome before it can be regarded as a genuine game-changer or savior in the ongoing struggle between the two aerospace titans. The technical foundation is robust, the market rationale is evident, and the competitive pressure is increasing. However, Airbus must meticulously evaluate its alternatives prior to committing to this ambitious project. Now, do you really think Airbus should have responded with the Dash 2000 in advance, and now it is too late? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.